South Korea is counting on the high-tech and biohealth sectors by growing them as the next mainstay industries for an economic breakthrough. President Yoon suk yeol stresses the urgency to create a Korean version of the Boston Biotech Cluster with a fair compensation system and eased regulations. Our top office correspondent, Oh Soo-young, has more. President Yoon suk yeol has stressed the urgency of creating ecosystems for high-tech ventures and world-class collaborations for South Korea to overcome its slowing exports in the long run. On Thursday, Yoon presided over the government's fifth export strategy meeting, focusing on ways to build innovation clusters for new cutting-edge technologies. Inspired by the tech ecosystem in Boston, which the president visited in April, Yoon said the country's exports and overseas expansion of critical industries depend on its international competitiveness as a hotbed of innovation. Yun called for stronger linkages between industry and academia through joint research, along with more international exchanges and cooperation in developing advanced technologies. This would, according to President Yun, allow South Korea to reap the benefits of commercialization. However, to attract the best companies, talent and investors, he said a fair compensation system must be established, while unnecessary regulations should be scrapped based on the principles of the free market system. Since November, Yun has held export strategy meetings to urgently address the country's weakening exports, which accounted for as much as 45% of gross domestic product last year, according to figures from the Bank of Korea. Yun has highlighted the need to invest in clusters in leading technologies, most notably the semiconductor and biohealth industries, and utilize artificial intelligence and data science to proliferate advancements in research, as well as commercial products and solutions. This, he says, requires removing red tape and attracting large-scale investments. The Yun government has set this year's export target at 685 billion US dollars, up 0.2% from last year. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.